us a little bit about the mosquito and how people at this point can get their hands on one. Well, the mosquito is, as you know, a single seat ultralight or experimental aircraft. Um, now, I put a lot of radio controlled helicopters together, and I would have to say that after getting my hands and building parts of these systems here, that it's exactly the same, only for me it's a little easier because everything's bigger. As far as the construction and the design of the aircraft, mostly fiberglass in this version, it's incredibly simple for a helicopter system and the kit goes together pretty easily and everything's laid out in stages and the rotor head we know is extremely strong for its size. We can see people doing a hovering auto, land, pick it back up and set it back down again, which is really impressive and not many helicopters of this size can do anything like that. So high rotor inertia for its size, tons of options for power plants. You can do two, three cylinder or the turbine. What about training? But making the transition from those of us who learned to fly in the Robbies and the like to a small, in some cases low mass inertia, in some cases higher mass inertia rotors, and very simple control systems and even more simple instrumentation, what kind of support is available for acclimating a pilot to these new versions of aircraft? Well, we have a training program specifically for that, right? So if you've never flown a helicopter and you'd like to, we'd get you in a two-seat aircraft, of course. If you're able to solo in an R-22 or a Swizer, I don't think you'll have any problem soloing in this helicopter. Of course, you're going to get used to the handling and the way it feels, but other than that, a helicopter is a helicopter at the end of the day. What can we expect in the ability to just go out for the typical airport breakfast 30, 50 miles down the road? 30 to 50 miles is absolutely doable. If you have an ultralight version, of course, you can only carry about five gallons worth of fuel. If you have the experimental, then you can have much more. So. If you were looking to use this for like a cross-country traveler, I'd probably recommend getting the experimental category of aircraft because that gives you the full fuel capacity. Now, how does somebody get more information about this? Well, you can go to our website, rotorfx.com, or if you can Google Mosquito XE, there's internet forums, and of course, the manufacturer's website. Joe Lecky on the floor of AMA 2016. Thanks for taking a little bit of time out for Aero News. And one of these days, we got to come out and fly this thing. Yeah, come over. We're at uh, Van Nuys Airport. So anytime you guys are in town, uh, stop on by. Aero TV is brought to you by. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.